Hello, Leo. How are you guys doing? This reading is for you, okay? Leo, Leo. Okay. I just want to clear the energy really quick. Okay. So, I want to do, um, I want to do a reading uh, about uh, the person on your mind, okay? This person out there for you. Who is this person out there for you? Yeah, that's how I want to word it. Who is this person out there for you? Okay. And we'll see your energy and the energy of this person. And then we'll clarify and see what's going to happen. Seeing like a wishing well, like a well, some of you may want to travel to a country where they have a well, or you saw a wishing well recently, or you like made a wish, something about a wish. serpent there's something that you see clearly now that's been hidden some of you had a secret that you kept your whole life or something and now you you're there's a coming to terms with your whole life what it has all been about there is an understanding of everything and it's like all the past stuff that you had to deal with or whatever that you had to learn from that you had to whatever you've done that so there is this place of the work that you have put in to something that it's like you discovered something and now this is something that it's like maybe been hinted at before but it hasn't been discovered in the way that you're discovering it and the way that you're bringing something forth. So there is this place of like, you know, reaching this place that's been like the culmination of your entire life to get to this, this point. It's like the sea serpent, you know, is deep within the sea and we don't know, you know, there's people that are like, there's like a Loch Ness monster in the water and it's like, but people, we don't, you know, there's all this speculation about it, but nobody knows. And so there's times when it will come up, but nothing really comes of it. And it's like, now it's like, you understand these secrets. There is something here that you have put together here that you're going to share in a way that is like coming full circle and that you're now taking things into your own power here. So it's not a mystery anymore for you. And... Is this like Ireland? They have like wishing wells in Ireland and Loch Ness monsters. I don't know. Some of you might be planning a reveal of something. You've been planning a reveal of something. You're getting to a point now. It's like the deep emotions that you are able to realize and channel this energy into something productive. That's what the sea serpent represents here, you know, and being able to help people in a way. There is an element of unknown. It's like people don't know that you have this abilities or this talents or something. And it's going to like shock them because they don't know this side of you. And it could be like opposing of what people would think of you, you know? It's like someone who's like this sweet little old lady, but they're like a crazy, amazing like rapper or something. Like what? Just like looks doesn't fit what people know, but it's good. It's like in such a good way. 
it's like this monster, but really, you know, they are like helping little girls so they don't like drown in the lake or something. I'm like, it's getting something like that. Like there's something, any misjudgment is going to be eliminated. Any like anything like that that's been standing in your way is no longer going to stand in your way. And there's like crowds of people that misjudged you that are now going to be like your fans, your supporters. Yeah, you have the eagle. It's beautiful energy. Very beautiful energy because the sea serpent is so unknown. It's so mysterious. Like, is it even in this world, you know? But there's like, you know, our oceans are so deep. We know less about our oceans than we know about outer space. Or no, other way. We know more about outer space then we know about our oceans. And is my laptop not charged? <sighs> I'm so sorry. I'm gonna pause and get the charger. Jeez. Is it playing? I think so. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. It's been cold. It's been rainy here. It's overcast every day. I feel like I can't really think clearly when the sun is on. I haven't seen the sun in this long. <laughs> you know? So, yeah, I'm going to blame it on that. Oh, golden egg. Something big is happening here because it's like the sea serpent is the mysterious realm, right? Okay. And it's like, we don't even know if this thing is real, but it's like, we don't know that it's not either. It could be real. It could be, you know, these sea serpents that live deep within the Mariana Trench that we don't even know about, you know? It could be these lake monsters that we don't know about. Who knows, right? And... Then it's like, this is something, the eagle is very, very known. And isn't this interesting because it's like you have this circle up here and then you have this circle down here. It's like the yin and the yang, you know? So eagles can soar to great heights and it's known, but it's also rare, you know? And this is like, we don't know what it is at all. So it's like very opposing energies. You're balancing the opposing energies within you. That's what you have been doing. And you're, use, you're able to manipulate them to create a life of success for yourself. It's like you have this mystery here, you know, about you, this mysterious side that you have been developing behind the scenes. And now you're going to bring it to where it can be seen, it can be known, you know, but it's still... Um, it's like you, you're not going from this sea creature to... A sea animal that we see to an animal that's on the sea and on the land to an animal that you know is just on the land and then to an animal that can fly it's like one extreme to the other you know it's like something is very very hidden and then when something is exposed there is no limits it's soaring you know as high as it can go and this is like an opportunity to expand here to create something new here with this golden egg something that hasn't been done before and for a lot of you spirit is helping you you're asking signs from spirit from a particular loved one that has passed on and they're get they're giving you these signs back and for some of you it's through song that you're getting these signs um it doesn't have to be but there's particular signs that you're getting from spirit um, from birds, from singing, like some, singing a particular song that this person liked or this person used to sing, something like that. There's a huge transformation here that's happening in your life. And it's like the miraculous things that you can do, you don't even realize, you know. Butterflies, do butterflies fly? I feel like there's uh, butterflies that fly from like a cave in Mexico to like Ireland or something. Oh, I keep thinking about that. Is that a thing? Where do they go? They go somewhere that it's like crazy far. Like what? They go that far? Really? They just know how to do it. And you have the swan card here. So this is like the, you know, psychic component of it. There is a very, it's like butterflies. I don't know where it is, but they go. So they travel where you wouldn't believe butterflies are able to navigate this crap. It's like from anywhere, they know how to get to this cave in Mexico. How do they know this? It's like science is like, you know, baffled by this. 
there is something here where you're going to have to travel somewhere and it's just a, within you, you have to do this. And spirit is like, okay, yeah, we're taking you here to do this. Because it's like, it, once you marry this energy, then there's this opportunity here. And this is something that you're putting out that is birthing this new opportunity for you. But it's going to be taken way further than what you think. And there is going to be an opportunity. And spirit's like, okay, you need to follow this. You need to go here. And it's just within you that you know. And nobody else knows, you know. It's like the butterfly is somewhere and it's like... They're going there. They don't have any other reason besides it's just like within them to go there and to do this. And so they're going to do it. That's what's happening for you here. And it's like you have to with this mouse card, you know, you have to leave everything behind. There is an element of leaving things behind, leaving people behind, leaving circumstances behind. There is a chapter closing. You know, the people that you've been around, the circumstances you've been in, the area that you've been in, the way that you've been doing things, that's not happening anymore. And you don't want it to happen anymore. It, this is like, no, I figured this out. It's like, not only did you figure out how to develop the skills that were calling to you, but it's like you figured out the other half of yourself, like your shadow aspect. You figured out how to balance yourself in this whole divine feminine and in the divine masculine. It's like you're very, 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 very balanced at this time. Very much so. Yeah, you have them all. I'm going to get one more card for you and we're going to look into this person, right? Okay, what about them? <laughs> This is, this is this time for great prosperity in your life. This is a time for great success in your life. It's like, you know, everybody else was doing great, it feels like. And for the longest time, you were still developing, still developing, still developing. And it was like, what about me? And now I feel like the world around you, there's a lot of people that are having a lot of difficult time. There's friends that are going to need your help. A lot of friends, a lot of people, things are falling apart for everybody else. And for you... You're like, ah, I've been there, you know. And there's something here that is going to shift where things are going to get really great for you. You have the unicorn. It's like all these, you know, giving birth to something so magical here. You know, these are very magical cards, these three. And especially this one is, you know, of the animals that we have here on Earth, you know, bald eagles are very rare. If, you, if you've ever seen one, this is an occurrence. This is like, whoa, you know, you're seeing something here. This is amazing. It's a miraculous occurrence that's happening. And so this is something that, you know, you're bringing here into this world that is rare, is something that people were not sure existed. Like you have this magic like quality about you that people you're giving people a hope. You're showing people, you know, you think you're done. You think your life is over. You think you can't overcome this. Uh, that's bullshit. You can you can and you are, and I did. It's like there's something here that it's like people didn't believe that it's true, but it's like for you it is true. And there is a quality about protection here because the unicorn, you know, can you imagine if there was a real unicorn somewhere here on earth? I mean, what would happen to that unicorn? People would be fighting over it. People would be, you know, putting it in labs and studying it and it, it would be destroyed. So there is something here about having to protect yourself from people being obsessed with your energy. And I feel like people are going to change who they are because they, you know, so things are going to change between you and people. And it's because of something that you're creating and it's success that you're creating and just like the natural energy that you have, you're very attractive at this time. You're very admired at this time. And people are really trying to 
rely on your energy. It's like, you know, you have a boat and everybody's swimming in the water and everyone is trying to get on your boat and they're, you know, you can't let so many people on your boat that you drown. You know what I mean? That's kind of how I feel. So this is like, there is a reason why this balancing needs to, to take place. There is a reason why this success to this level that you're going to achieve it has taken so much time because you have to learn this protection. You know, the golden egg here, you know, this egg is very fragile can be very easily broken. So it's something that needs a stable nest. It needs first someone to come and take care of this egg. You know what I mean? That has to come first. So it's like you had to learn to put yourself first and seeing that as a benefit. Okay, let's let's see about this this person, okay? Really? I didn't flip over yet. I'm going to take them. Wow. You have Gazelle first. This could be a twin flame connection. You feel like your person was the runner. So if you feel like you have a twin flame and you know who they are and they're running, they have this energy of being playful. They have this energy of sticking to what they know. The gazelle sticks to what they know. You know, the gazelle is curious, but they will never get close enough to allow themselves to be vulnerable or let somebody else get close enough to allow them to be vulnerable. The gazelle is like sticking to a way that things have always been done in the safety of people that are like them, that they know. It's like kind of pretending along here. But then you have this stingray here. And the stingray, I'm trying to see how you can clearly see it. Well, oh, there you go. It has the color of the chakras here. So this person has found balance and it's like life put them down to the point of you're vulnerable and that's it. Deal with it. You know, stingrays, they have that stinger to be protected, but really they're very vulnerable. It's a very easy. If you just flip one over and other animals know this, like sharks, uh, orcas, they know that if they flip this stingray over, they got them. It's done. So they kind of have to hide. Um, and But it's like interesting how this person, they went away. You may not have heard of them for a long time. or You know, because I really feel like you met this person at a point and there was a connection there, but they didn't let it get too close. And you didn't either. You were mysterious here. They see you as very mysterious. They see you as very alluring. They see you as someone who everybody was interested in. And they felt like they were just a number in the crowd, right? And it's like you would interact but not get too close, you know? It's like any sudden movements and the sea serpent is going back under the lake, you know? Whoa, not coming, not emerge, re-emerging for another 12 years or something crazy. And the same thing with this gazelle. Any sudden movement is running back to the herd, you know? Hey, whoa, I tried to go out on my own. That didn't work. Never doing that again. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like both of you were protecting yourself. But there was a safety in, you know, you were kind of hiding and dealing with deeper things. And in this realm of mystery and you know, this kind of, um, maybe you had illusions and relationships, like you thought this relationship was this, but it was actually the reality of it was not that, you know, there was a lot of that, that you had to come to terms with 
the harshness. You wanted to escape into this fantasy reality that wasn't really happening. You know, there are people that took advantage of your childlike innocence. Judge, misjudged you. A lot of being misjudged. A lot of being on your own and not being able to share the real you with the world. And this person had a very interesting reflection of that. You know, they had like, you know, having to just blend in with everybody, but it's like they couldn't take a stand out on their own. You know, they just had to blend in and follow along with these thoughts of other people. And spirit kind of pushed them down to get into balance here. And they, but the thing is, is like they did it. They did that work that they needed to do. And it's so interesting because it's like, you know, this is the depths of the lake, of the ocean, right? And this is the heights, this eagle, as high as you can go, right? And there's a mystical component and there's a very real component. Well, they're mirroring that down here. You have a mystical component and then you have a very real component. The stingray is, you know, at the bottom of the of the ocean and the phoenix is, you know, as high as you can go. So it's interesting how you're mirroring each other on your journey here. Which this should go over here. Yeah. That's really interesting. So... They, the thing is, is they did the work. The thing is, is you did the work too to get up to here. So this is where the two of you are. So they really had to start over with something. Every time I use this deck, you get the phoenix or your person does. There is like a huge rebirth happening. There is like, you know... You had nothing but devastation here, okay? And you've been on this healing journey. Know that this is, it's done now. You know, this is not going to keep happening to you. And what's so beautiful is, you know, this, the, the golden egg here, you know, it's like you and this person, you're going to create something really amazing together. But I feel like this person has a protective energy over you. And this is something where it's like they're going to allow you to shine because the egg came up in your row, you know, but they're going to protect that egg like it's theirs. It's like your dreams. I almost feel like you are doing something where you may be more successful than them or you may. And it's not to say that this person cannot carry their own weight. No. I have to say that this person is not successful and is not your match. It's a very even playing field, but there is something where you shine a little bit more. And in the past, you had everybody who would put you down. They wanted you because of that shine, but they wanted to steal that shine from you and to put you down and make you think that you didn't have it. And you're willing to share, you know, but... It needed to be reciprocated and with the right energy. And that's what's happening now. And then they have this fox energy here. And you know, a lot of people give foxes the bad rap. But it's like they're finding a way to stand out as well. Because... It's like you're standing out, you're shining here. And this person is perfectly fine with you being the one at the center of the spotlight and them being there more taking a back seat and supporting role to your career, to your life, or to just your energy in general. People seem to gravitate towards you and you get a lot of attention and that's not gonna change. I feel like that's only gonna amplify, especially when you're with a person this amazing, just as amazing as you are, your energy is just going to be even more so. And the fox is a person who finds, a, you know, the fox, what I'm really getting here, and we'll clarify, so we'll see. But the fox, you know, they're bright red, they're bright orange color, they stand out. And so they have to figure out a way to be okay with standing out because there's no hiding it. You know, in the winter, the fox, you know, you can see a fox in the snow. It's like, yeah, I see you. 
Hello. And, you know, in the spring and in the summer and the fall, they stand out. They don't blend in. So they can't, they can't hide in a way anymore. And it's very interesting because this person wanted to be hidden. They just wanted to blend in. They just wanted to be one of the crowd. And so now this person is able to stand out and to show that maybe there was a prejudice against this type of a person or a person who does this for a living or someone that's like this. There's a very quality about this person where it's like they don't fit their description, like what I was saying. So this is like, you know, the fox and all these children's stories. The fox is the bad guy. But what if a fox is, is not the bad guy. You know what I mean? It's like this person, this relationship, you're showing people that there are not limits. You're showing people that the boxes that they try to put people of the world in doesn't fit. No, that's not how this works. Look at this energy here. I mean, this is a real energy of balance that you're coming into. This is a real energy of a magical connection that is divinely guided to be here between the two of you. Wow. Let's clarify. Right? Let's. You have the Queen of Cups and you have the Empress. It's like, why is my light not? Oh. I messed with my light yesterday. Now I gotta mess with it again. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, I just couldn't stop thinking about it, you know? But it's okay because it allows for improvement, right? It allows for improvement. Okay, this, this, um, let's see the sea serpent, right? Ace of Pentacles. There's an opportunity that you don't realize that you're creating for yourself. And this has to do with something that it's emotional to you. There's something that you went through that was emotional. And during the healing of this emotional thing uh, that you were healing yourself from, there was something that you did for a project that you're crafting for work, something like that, that you're making that is like of your soul. And it doesn't have to be exactly like whatever it is that you went through. But there is a way that you are channeling from the depths of your soul into this 3D reality. So something that, you know, could have occurred to you throughout Scorpio season earlier. It could have been for the past few years. But there was something about this new moon in Capricorn that made this like, this is happening. This is really, look at the emperor. You're taking action on something. You're taking charge in something. You're now seeing that something is possible. This, You know what this is the energy of? Oh, wow. This is great. You know what this is the energy of? When, it is, when you ask, it is given. So it's like you've been asking something for a long, long time. You've been asking. You've been asking. You've been asking. You've been building. You've been growing the whole thing. You've been getting into alignment. You've been following inspired action. You've been trusting in the universe. You looked at what you needed to look at. You changed limiting beliefs, blah, blah, blah. You let go of things and no longer engaged in things that were coming in between you and your alignment. Sorry, got to go, you know. You stopped over giving. Yeah, you gave yourself permission to be happy and just like, Take care of yourself and live your own life. <laughs> you know, amazing. And now you're seeing the the first hints that you're creating something that miraculous is a reality. That's what this is. Eagle represents. It's like almost like the, the eagle is like such a magical, mythical creature, but it's real. Eagles are real. And the fact that they're rare right? It's like, and it's like, that's what it is about you. You're very rare. And being very rare, you, you didn't see the beauty in it in the beginning stages of your life. You saw it as a hindrance. You saw it as you had to hide from the world. You weren't safe. And it's like now 
you're learning how to protect yourself, how to balance yourself, who is allowed into your energy, who isn't, how you spend your, t your days, because really you weren't safe because you didn't know your own power. So you were thinking about all kinds of things. You were engaging with all kinds of people. And it's just like anything could be taken from you. Anything could be done because you were just relentlessly giving to all, you know, and it's like, that needed to be put in check. And that's exactly what the freak happened here. And now that that happened, you're starting to see that, wait a minute, maybe I can do this. Wait a minute, maybe it can get even bigger than this. Yeah, and it is, it is, it is gonna happen. It is happening. <laughs> you know, it's kind of like, you just keep pushing the limits and believing in it and success comes and then you push a little more and then you believe it and then the success comes. This is what, this is just the beginning. That's what it is. You have the Knight of Cups here with this golden egg, then there's an offer of love. Then there is someone coming through that there is love. For some of you, you're going to be the one that puts in this offer of love that initiates something. You're definitely letting it known. You're definitely allowing your heart space to be open. You're definitely letting yourself be vulnerable. And you're de definitely letting something take some time. And you're clear on something, but you're, you, you're allowing yourself to gain momentum in that clarity before the action is taken. And if this person is approaching you, you know, you're going to allow this to happen. You're going to feel that it's the time as it's happening, before it's happening. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There's signs. Okay. Let's see this unicorn. Let's clarify your unicorn here. What's this unicorn about? <sighs> Lovers. You're going to have a lot of choices available to you, very divinely guided. You don't have limits. You know, unicorns don't have rules. Okay. It's a unicorn. You're making it up. It could be anything you want. So it's like you have complete freedom over what's going to happen here. How great is this going to get? It's just how much greatness are you going to let in? That's what, that's what that is. Wow. Wow. Someone that is going to appreciate and nurture you and you being in control. You know what I mean? Instead of someone that's trying to, they want everything from you, but they're not going to give you the freedom of being in control. So it's just taking advantage, taking advantage, taking advantage. No more. And this is why you can open your heart space now. This is why you can allow all these blessings in now. Because of this choice that you're having to continue to push past the limits and push past the limits. That's what these, this is a choice looking at the divine, the unicorn and a rainbow moon. I mean, that's pretty limitless, right? <laughs> yeah, that's what you're doing. Okay, let's see the gazelle. Let's see this person. Who's this gazelle? <laughs> What's this freaking gazelle about? You have the four swords. This is somebody who they had hopes. They had prayers. They had wanted something more. But they needed a way to be shown to them that it was possible, that it could be done. And there was something in them where they believed enough to pray. They believed enough to pray. Okay, I mean, all of these cards. You have the two of cups. So this person, you know, it's very interesting because these cards can both, you got the lovers, they have the two of cups. Both of them can tell, this could be you and your higher self. You know, this can be you and the divine. So both of you had to find this unity within your soul, within your very soul. And uh, this person could have had a friend that betrayed them in a very horrible way. They could have had a, people that they were close to pass away friends with them that they were really close to, they passed away. And so this person had to find a way within themselves to heal themselves. And they had to 
go into seclusion to do it. They were out in the open and it was kind of like their whole life was just going to be, it was kind of already planned out with the same group of people that they grew up with that were all just like them, that all thought just the same way that they thought, but it wasn't really fulfilling. It was a mask. And this sent a shockwave through them and woke up their soul and allowed for this change to take place. For some of you, that could have happened to you as well. Because you have mirroring energy. You have the six of wands and you have the knight of pentacles. So it's like this person is going to be returning your offer. They're a little bit slower with it and they're more showy with it. They are proud and they want people to know. Uh, you, They could be celebrating something in their life and that's when you run into this person. They're out celebrating their birthday. They're out celebrating this achievement that they made. They're out celebrating something with family or with other friends. There is a reason that this person is being acknowledged and standing out and this is when this begins you run into this person and they have transformed now and they want to show you that they have transformed it's like they went through a lot and they're celebrating that they have gone through a lot and made this success on this other side but they want to take it a step further and share that with you they're ready to do that you know this is a person that has taken the work and done the journey and they're now in a place where they're ready for that and it's like a thought of you know it's deliberate it's not just oh they run into you so i guess we're gonna do this because i feel the energy so i guess we'll just see where this goes no this person this person prayed for this this person manifested this over the course of their life and when they see you they know that you have the fox and you have the star. Or they do. So this is a dream come true. This is a wish fulfillment for this person. This could be during Aquarius season. This could be, uh, they could be in Aquarius here. You have Gemini here. You have Aries here. Okay. Uh, for this person, you know, they have dreams that they want to bring into reality. They have healed and they want to continue with that healing. You know, they are a person who it's like they rehabilitated themselves and they're proud of that. You know, there is, there's work that this person did with them, you know, on themselves here and you have the high priestess. So this is something that both of you are just going to know that this connection is divinely guided. This You're just going to know that this connection, this person is for you. This could be a Pisces person who, um, you know, they went through a lot of, you know, they've evolved. <laughs> There's evolution here. This is like a very beautiful energy and a very magical energy here of bringing something down and making something real with the star. And that's something that you are doing as well. So it's just so interesting how you're mirroring each other, but it's different. You know, the order of your journey and the order of your their journey was different, but you end at the same place. And it's a choice for you to do this and for you to believe in the unbelievable. You know, because it's so interesting here. You have, you know, on the lover's card, you have um, here, she is, you know, She's here with the snake here, Eve, and it's like, okay, she's the one that has this bad rap for choosing to eat this apple. And it's like, you know, you have the, they have the fox here. So it's like people judge the fox for what, you know, the things that the fox has done. But it's like believing in this unbelievable dream that this happened and she made this choice, right? Uh, so that our universe could expand and there could be more and more and more and more. And there is a choice to believe in the divine, but there had to be a choice not to. So this is what she is representing and the culmination, the creation of that. And that's what the star represents too. It's believing that as above, so below, that you can create 
this beauty down here in this 3D reality. And it's all worth it. So it's like strong mirroring energy, very divinely guided union, and just magical. It's like the life that you, the two of you will lead together. Uh, the magical occurrences that are going to happen between the two of you. You know, this is something really amazing here. You have the Page of Swords here. Exploration and di discovery. So this is something, you know, this person, you and them, you're going to want to learn more about each other. So this is something, this is someone who's dedicated, who wants to know more information. I feel like they're very curious about you. You're very curious about them. And the two of you, you know, they may be trying, you, you know who they are already. You have an idea if they know who you are already. They're trying to find out more information. But they have been in a state and you have been in a state of focus here. Because the Page of Swords, you know, he's climbing to the top of the mountain here to, um, learn how to use this sword to develop some sort of mastery and his dedication. He's not getting paid to do this. He has to wake up really early. It takes him a long time to climb up the mountain. He's learning from the best of the best. And then he has to go back down and work and then, you know, comes home and it's already dark out and eats a meal and goes straight to bed to wake up and do it all over again the next day. So this is a person who's like in mode of like, they are in alignment. There's a point where you're in alignment with creating something and for your life, a vision of your life, and you know what to do, and it's just time to do that work. So I feel like you've been in that space, they're in that space. That's the space that you're coming into. And then when you meet a new person with that kind of energy, okay, I'm, a, I'm in alignment with this person now. And now I want to learn more about this. And now I want to show up and be dedicated, and so we can build this into something. That's what the Page of Swords can really talk about here. So a wanting to learn, I know a lot of people say it's a spy card, and it is, it can represent that. But there is also a, a curiosity and a wanting to learn more, understand more. And that's a really beautiful part of falling in love with someone that people often, you know, mislead. So, okay, it's way too many cards. You have the two of crystals, balance and adaptability. Yeah. And so then it's like learning about how to interact with each other, learning and balancing. It's like both of you balance within yourselves, these different sides of things or something that you're dedicated and trying to learn. And then you're, you know, uh, assessing how did things go? And then you're, okay, I think I'm going to try this now and this works and I'm going to keep doing it. And then you're doing that. And then you come back to assess, to reflect. Uh, to take count and to go forward. So this is the kind of person that you can build a relationship because you and them are both going to be active participants and building and making this something. So this is like beginning in a very healthy way. And then you have the sun. So then there's just a celebration of this joy. And it's something that you can really celebrate because you took the time to learn and to create balance and then to celebrate this joy. Uh, the 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 two of you being together so this is something that it's took a long time for you and this person to learn uh to not just jump right into something you know because they want to build something that's going to last and so do you and so they are willing to take the time to get to know you to understand it's like this person has learned from their past and they have applied that and they're doing things differently this time because they want a different result because they feel differently and this person is not talking to anybody from their past they're moving forward and so are you this is a person who you know yeah and again you're ending with the high priestess so this could very well be a pisces high priestess high priestess okay this is someone here who you know wants to build something they follow their intuition and they feel like this connection is right you know, this could be a person that you have known from the past for, for a while now. And the two of you separated and you learned on your journey and you developed on your journey. And then you could be coming back around here. And, you know, this is very beautiful because you have the four of wands, comfort and community. 
So this is something that, you know, could lead to a huge commitment, could lead to marriage if that's something that you're wanting. Okay, let me get a couple other cards on this. Very beautiful energy, very beautiful you have guarded and vulnerability. So being willing to be vulnerable, okay? And it's like you're going to follow your intuition and you want to be vulnerable to the right circumstances, to the circumstances that, you know, are genuine, to someone who is on your level. You have Venus and offer. Yeah, someone's going to come in and make an offer because when you value yourself and you have this kind of energy then you're going to attract someone who's going to value you and that was a lesson that you had to learn that this person had to learn you have apology and forgiveness i feel like for some of you you're just forgiving your past and moving on and you're not getting an apology from that particular person but you're going to give yourself an apology for allowing that past person to come into your life. Uh, you're going to move on from that completely here. Um, I would really see this as not someone that you were in a connection with before. That could be someone that you know. You have fulfillment and wish. This is really beautiful because the two of you both made a wish. And this is a person who knows how to apologize and knows how to forgive. And you know how to apologize and you know how to forgive. So this is an amazing opportunity here because when you don't know how to handle those types of situations, you can't get to a place of fulfillment and uh, a, a wish being fulfilled. You can't get to that place. And this person knows how to get to that place. You have the bluff card here. Be careful of anybody from the past trying to come back in, trying to get you to forgive them. You've gotten that message before that just when you get an offer of real love coming in, then you have somebody else wants to come in and apologize and offer you everything, but they're really not <laughs> offering you anything. You know, maybe this is a person that you have met before in the past and you separated and you went on your whole separate lives there was never really a connection that happened and spirit was like oh yeah you thought this was over no this is everything that was a bluff so kind of getting that energy here too you have convention it's like there is a way that your life has not been conventional but there are some conventional things that deep in the deepest depths of your heart you're maybe wanting to do with the right particular person and so you're having somebody come along that you're able to do those things, but in a beautiful way. Somebody who wants to offer this to you, what it is that you're always wanting. And maybe you want to do it in your own particular way because it's like you have this original style. Um, so you don't have to follow things to a T here. Yeah, you have this drama card that's under this apology and forgiveness so I feel like there is a person that wants to come back in that is nothing but drama. You already know this. They always have been nothing but drama. You never built anything with this person. It was always this he said, she said, all of this BS, ups and downs, just the most dramatic person ever. They did the most harmful things and you didn't even do anything to them and they blamed it on you and it was this whole thing. It was like, I'm feeling like apologizing for something that you didn't even do just to get them to shut up, <laughs> you know, Blech. but you also have this wish and generosity. So there is someone here that is generous. There is someone here who is understanding. There is someone here who is kind and, you know, they have more than enough love to get. They have more than enough abundance and integrity and honesty and this is their wish fulfillment too so yeah you could be wondering about this particular person and if this would work with this particular person you have romance here yeah you have gemini you have capricorn you have leo leo taurus could be one of those signs get just a couple cards just a couple more okay. star you have the star multiple times multiple different decks look at all those hearts up there this is a wish fulfillment and love this is a dream come true 
and it's it's something that comes about in an unconventional way but it brings some form of convention to your life that you have been wanting you know it's different than everybody else but it's making you want to do these things that everybody does uh still in your own unique way so it's a very beautiful energy that you have here yeah you have the room and then you have this lover person and you have the male version and you have the female version <laughs> So that's very interesting here. This is someone who wants love. This is someone who's very successful. The only thing they don't have is love in their life. They have everything established. Look at this room, but it's empty. There is nobody there. Uh, and then you have this ring. <laughs> so it's like you may just meet this person that finally completes that for you. And you complete that for them. So and I just saw 50-50 on the clock. So it's like talk about... A person who is your match, someone who's on your level, someone who's, and it's not that we're judging people, right? Uh, everybody's on their own journey, blah, blah, blah. But you have so much to give and finally you're meeting someone who also has so much to give, who is your perfect match, who it's 50-50 with this person. I mean, talk about a sign, okay? You can look up angel number 50-50 if you want an added message there, okay? is remarkable remarkable the leo you deserve it thank you so much if you resonated with the video and you want to like or subscribe i would greatly appreciate it okay also i have a book it's called one lights and it's all about the law of attraction and manifesting so if you're interested this is there for you as well okay thank you so much and i hope i see you next time